case you didn't know, Dynasty, yep, it's back. The 80s drama has been reimagined. That's right. Remember the That's Carringtons? Right. Well, OG had the opportunity to chat it up with Crystal Carrington, and she joined us now with more. What'd you guys talk about? Hey, Dan and Betty. Well, we know she makes major moves on screen and off. And we're not just talking about the big move Dynasty's making to Friday nights starting tonight. Well, since seeing is believing, we'll let our chat with Natalie Kelly speak for itself. <laughs> There's so much we're still getting to know about Natalie Kelly, but so little time. Do I have moves? I, th I think I still do. <laughs> I did back in the day. But we'll always make time to bask in the glory of her many talents. So how many languages do you speak? Uh, well, Spanish, English, and I actually speak Portuguese because I used to live in Brazil. Now Kelly's living an entirely different life as Crystal on the CW's Dynasty. A big part of the reason I'm there is Crystal. I may have pointed you in the right direction, but... Oh, your wife's a modest and incredible woman. I would have done the same for any other colleague with potential. I think it says so much about the CW that they're willing to recast in, in such interesting, diverse ways. Like, they let Jeff Colby not just be African-American, but of Nigerian descent. And I'm not just like a standard Latina. I'm Venezuelan, which is another interesting choice because there's a lot of serious stuff happening there right now, and it's really good to shine a light on it in popular culture. Crystal! What a surprise. Hello, Alexis. The last time we got to chat, we didn't know who was going to be playing Alexis. Oh, that's and right. And now we, we do. It's very exciting. Isn't Nicolette Sheridan, she's amazing. Fans of the original are not going to be disappointed with the level of drama and um, just craziness that her character brings. Because in the original, she was like, kind of like a hurricane. She came in and shook yeah. things up. and. Um, they're very much following that same storyline. And we're excited to have you as our CW family member because a lot of people, like my boss Ted, talked to me about how he wa he's watched Tokyo Drift like 11 times. That's sweet. And he said it's because of you. Oh, that's sweet. I know. So, and I'm surprised he hasn't walked in here because I, I thought he was going to find a reason oh, to walk in. Was that the gentleman outside my TV this <laughs> day? <laughs> just kidding. It was probably him. I would yeah. not be surprised. <laughs> Sorry, boss. Uh, I'm just saying. Well, can you make me a promise? Next time you go to Australia, can I go with you? And then Absolutely. I go to Nigeria, yes, you come, come with to me. Vegas. Deal? Well, yes. Well, it's March. I'm going at the end of March. So go where? Vegas. End of March. To Australia. Really? <laughs> oh, March what? Why exactly. can't I, go? I can't get I the time off? I don't know if I can promise, promise, because of your. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my boss, <laughs> Ted. Ted, I'm ask, I've only asked you one favor my entire life. <laughs> can OG? Can I, yes. Can I recruit her for Australia, please? Thank you, boss. We'll reenact scenes from Tokyo Drift for you. Because he loves Tokyo Drift. Well, before we take that time off, you can catch Natalie and the cast of Dynasty hard at work bringing you all new episodes starting tonight at 8, followed by Jane the Virgin. I've always wanted to go to Australia. I mean, she said me. I don't know. I don't well, remember her saying that. Oh, I thought again, it was a private plane. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's March. It's and March. You're yeah. still here. But the thing is, she speaks Spanish on the show as well because she plays a Venezuelan on the show. So she's just amazing. She's yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah.